End to the pandemic in sight. Las Cruces employers are taking out loans, cutting back staff, and even closing their shops entirely. ABC 7's Kate Beery met three business owners who don't know if their business will be back next year. The story is from our New Mexico mobile newsroom. We met three Las Cruces small business owners who feel frustrated, desperate, and helpless, including Bite of Belgium, which is closing after eight years in business. We are definitely in the red. We didn't have any assistance. I'm still waiting for that money. Three Las Cruces small business owners in 2020 who don't know if they will open their doors in 2021. Our goal is not to make profit, but to keep everybody employed. Three decades ago, Julian Hadfield opened up her jewelry store on the Mesilla Plaza. We're, we're out of funds. She said November and December sales usually equal about four months in revenue, but this year she had to take out a loan. Uh, for December, if we get shoppers, we'll make it. If we don't, we won't. To my community, I love them. They have always supported me. During a normally busy holiday season at Salon Chavot, the tools are not moving and the phone is not ringing. Owner Sylvia Tejas said the state accepted her grant application from July, but time is ticking and New Mexico's financial help has not arrived. If you're going to shut us down, give us money to pay us to stay home and don't have the red tape. I've been waiting four months for something you promised me in July, and I appreciate it, but I need it now. I don't need it in five months from now. I need it now. Open, up, close, open, close, open, close. It's too hard financially. The owner of Bite of Belgium had not laid off any of her employees, but this weekend she had to let 18 staffers go. Thanksgiving weekend's always a big weekend for us. 10% of what we did last year. This massive patio structure is part of the restaurant's $100,000 worth of investments because of COVID. Now, if we get something like PPP again, then, and that's what we told the staff, we'll open when we have that money. <laughs> So no more brioche, French toast, or menage a trois at Bite of Belgium, but we will let you know when they do open back up again. Reporting from Central Las Cruces with our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom, Kate Perry, ABC7.